What's up guys, Tavern here back again with another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Violet. In the last episode, we made it to the town of Zapino or Zap Zaprico? Zapico. There we go, Zapico. Um, this little this little in-between town. And I got the ten uh Sinus T ships that I needed in order to trade for an item. And I think yes, this is the person. So hello there child, I'm a collector of curiosities and a great lover of Sinistee. I have a curio with a dark past, shall we say. It's yours for 10 Sinistee chips. Yes. This will do nicely I feel more connected with Sinistee now. Here's the curio, I promise you. Careful with it. It's steeped in a potential malice. And we got the set of malicious armor. A particular set of armor that can make a certain species of Pokemon evolve. Malicious, uh, malicious will lurk within. So that's the item I've been waiting for this entire time. So I'll go ahead and use this on Rouge. Oh my god, finally. And now we have, uh, Shrewledge. Shower Ledge. So, it's the Fire Blades Pokemon, an old set of armor steeped in grudges caused this Pokemon's evolution. Shrewly Edge cuts its enemies to pieces without mercy. And you want to learn Shadow Claw? Yes, we will actually learn that. Um... Confuse Ray has not been helping out immensely, but I want to keep Nice Shade. Get rid of Clear Smog. Bet. All right, and there isn't really anything of note in this town else that I've seen. So, our next goal that I kind of like just set up to um, do on a whim is going to be the Poison Crew base over here. It's that way. So let's not waste any more time since I've pretty much done everything over here. I think there's maybe like one or two trainers I've yet to do over in the prior path over here, but... I can always take care of that off screen. So there's no need to worry about what the f are you? Are you, are you a turkey or something? What the absolute hell? Jesus. This is psychic turkey. Keep using the center eight. This is weird. Like, why? Like, out of all the designs, I thought the Tumbleweed was bad. Like, okay, well, obviously this is better than the Tumbleweed, but still, it's a freaking turkey. Oh my god, this is... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Makes sense that this game came out in November. This should have been a target Pokemon. It's... Asprata? Is that how you pronounce his name? Ostrich Pokemon. It's an ostrich. Okay. It emits psychic power from the gaps between its multicolored frills and sprints at speeds greater than 120 miles per hour. So this thing is supposed to be faster than a Dodrio? Is that what I'm getting from this? Uh, Asprata. Why name you? No. I'm gonna call you Pilgrim. No, this is weird. <laughs> no, you're not going to my party. Go in the freaking box. Oh my! No, it, it's definitely not a Pokemon evolves. I think. Oh, I can grab the fat squirrel. Maybe I got this whale. Okay, I did catch this whale thing off screen during a raid. 
and I was curious about it, and honestly, I was debating whether or not I was going to put it on my team, just because I am still considering what my last Pokemon should be, but I have yet to actually, like, make a solid decision on it, so it's still up in the air. So far, like, who I have right now, like, the five that are on the team, I feel pretty confident in my decision having them there. Uh, looks like it'll be on this right hand side. Do we have to go through a cave? Oh yeah, we also did, um, one of the... What is that one called? Path of Legends? Yeah, Path of Legends, um, storylines. Oh, I got a Dawnstone too. And with that, we were able to unlock Maridon's ability to jump higher. Oh yeah, this is it. Huh. So I don't really need to go through this cave. Can I make it? Nope. I don't think they should let me. <laughs> oh my god. Are they going to teleport me the right way? Backup kid, you can't just casually walk in like you hope in here like you're one of us stars that run the joint. And they just teleport me over there. That's perfect. If you want in, ring the bell over by the entrance and throw on the base like a decent person. Is that the opening over there? There. No, oh, darn it. I don't really feel like going against you guys. So we are running. Although I am finally starting to catch up with like, or I'm running into Pokemon that are around the levels of my team. But that's fine, now that I got, um, Bruce where I want her, now it's just a matter of taking the time to like, focus on their training. What? Oh, I remember what you are. Yeah, I have to go through the desert. So I should have gone the other way instead of up this hill. Yeah, that's a uh, sauce buck, I believe. Oh, what did I? Oh, it's a graveyard. Unfortunately, I'm not looking to battle right now. So, I would have to leave you alone. I'm sorry if I'm a bit out of it this episode, guys. Like, it's, like, really late at night. And I really wanted to get, like, one episode recorded. And, uh, get Rouge involved. Okay, was it? Okay, I don't know why I forgot it was this entrance. Devin. Hey, Director Clavel. As I've told you, the name's Clive. Please don't forget it. Now, let's pick up our conversation from where we left off before. As I mentioned, I joined Operation Starfall to resolve a sticky situation and to find out the reasons behind Team Star's odd behavior. Above all, I want to know why the students in Team Star have stopped coming to school. And, just like Cassipia, I want the team to disband for good. Since joining Operation Starfall with you, I've already had some success in opening up a dialogue with Team Star. And I think I'm starting to understand things more clearly. But I don't have enough information just yet. That's why I want to speak with students from Team Star's other squads as well. If you intend to take on another base, know that you can count on me for backup. Till then, see you around, Tevin. I appreciate it. Clive. So, I should have healed you. Actually, no, he can do that. I don't need to worry about that, all that. Um, you're definitely going to be one of them. 
I don't want to bring Fifi. And I think... I want to say Dewey should come in handy. And honestly, I want to take Rouge with me too since she just leveled up. I think that'll be... And that's a good combination. Is someone already over here? Do me a favor and go home already, will ya? No, I want to see the boss of the Navy Squad. Take me to Don Atticus. Like I said, kid, the boss told me not to let any outsiders pass this gate. That includes you. I don't care, I'm not leaving until you let me talk to Don Atticus. Give me a break, you little doofus. People over there seem to be arguing about something. What do you want to do? Uh, go say hello. Huh? Oh great, here comes another rando to ruin my day. I didn't think grunt work for Team Star newbies would be this much of a chore. Hold on, Mr. Grunt, I think this boy might be Tevin. Wait, Tevin? That kid who picked a fight with Team Star? Yep, that's me. I knew it. Oh boy, this ain't good. Everyone else in the base is still asleep since we were all at night playing video games. Same. Leave it to me, Mr. Grunt. I'll buy some time for you to go wake up the others. Yeah? And what's in it for you? Don Atticus will be in danger if no one's here to defend the base. I owe that man my life. He's my dear compadre. And when crisis calls, one has no choice but to rally to those dear to him. No matter the cost. Yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about, kid, but thanks for the big assist. Kiddo. Really? Alright, you villain. If you're out to Don Atticus, be prepared to face my wrath. Bring it on. You're about to get stomped, second grader. Challenge by Pokemon Trainer Yusuf. Okay, in 30s, um, I'm not too worried even with the damage I have on Ruse right now. Oh, thank god, I got a critical. I didn't need it, but it helped. It definitely helped. Uh, Screedle? That's, I think that's the, uh, the rat looking thing we got. I, it should, yeah. I was about to say, it should be like a monkey at this point, but I don't think so. Oh, almost. Poison jab. You did like a tiny bit of damage. Mother, get poisoned me, you little bat. I said bat because I caught myself from cursing. Uh, let's just use Incinerate one more time and just finish him off. I do need to look into more, um, a more viable moveset for Rouge now that she's fully evolved. But I'm still like trying to like figure out what exactly I want to do. And that wants to learn bug buzz, sure. Let us put on. I'll get rid of stun spore. I'd rather poison than paralyze. Just so I can get a little bit of chip damage going on. I talk big, but I'm no warrior. Don Atticus, I'm sorry I failed you. Tevin, are you alright? I was standing watch when I heard a ruckus all of a sudden. I got worried that maybe something had happened to you over here. Ugh, I know fair, you had backup this whole time? Bro, it's not like I really needed it. You got stopped before he even like showed up. Is this boy one of the Academy students? He doesn't look like he's from Team Star. You're right, I'm not a member of Team Star, but Don Atticus is my compadre. I have to see him no matter what. Well, clearly you have your reasons for being here. Tevin, I'd like to ask this boy some questions. 
you go ahead and get started on the base. Might I borrow you for a chat, my, uh, my man? Don't worry, I won't bite. As long as you can still heal my Pokemon, that's all I care about. Nice work dealing with the guard. Within the base lies Team Star's poison crew, the Navy Squad. Their boss, Atticus, designs the outfits for the team. You could say he has clever hands. This guy is also a bit of an eccentric. You can never tell what he's going to do next. So, since it's beyond us to predict how he'll respond to our declaration of war, just take out as many of the squad's Pokemon as you can until Atticus shows his face. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Navy squad off the map. Will do. Let's go ahead and do it and start our raid. Seems the folks behind Operation Star Fool are finally making a move against our base. You know what this means, gang. Time for us to shine bright and avenge our teammates. And hey, little intruder, just so you know, if you got the skills to defeat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, our boss might deem you worthy to meet in person. Heh, <laughs> break a leg. Alright, good. Everyone's fully, fully healed up. Let's go, guys. He's way above our level. We gotta get the boss. One, I think Atticus was the like the really buff one. Oh, the samurai looking. Oh, that's a girl. I didn't think by the name. Pray, forgive my sudden entry. Tis I, Atticus. You are that scoundrel of heaven, I take it. You have some nerve bar bearing your fangs at Team Star. Come then, villainous wrench. Wet wretch. I plunge into grim poison shall be your well-deserved fate. On guard. It still bothers me that their freaking main Pokemon is a damn car. But you move pretty slick though. I don't know why, like, what's the deal with making, like, the poison type Pokemon trainers? It's like ninjas. And not what punishment awaits the wretch. A plague on my a plague on your house. Oh, uh, let's see. She's confused, Ray. But it failed. Well not my confused Ray, his second one. But this is just gonna buy me some time, so just in case. Hopefully you hurt yourself. Although I can never tend to be that lucky. Um and let's do Shadow Claw. Not very effective. Okay, I'm sticking to Incinerate then. Hurt yourself, hurt yourself, hurt yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself. Of course not. Oh, why did that be toxic? I hate being poisoned. And I was badly poisoned too at that. So that's only going to get worse the longer this dries up. Let's use Incinerate. Oh my, see, this is what makes me want to get rid of freaking confusion. Normally, it's a lot better than this. Certain moves can poison with a mere gaze. Tremble, scoundrel, for thy Pokemon's sake. And anyway, like, normally it's been, like, really good in, like, other games, but for some reason in this game, I have had the worst luck when it comes to using freaking Confuse Ray. So I'm just about to get rid of it now at this point. Jesus, Roost is gonna faint. But hopefully. Yeah, we took out Scum Tank first. And uh, I don't care about Tabili Aftermath, if it even has it. Because this is just a self knockout. Or a dual knockout, I should say. We did get Rouge. And we all know that the freaking car is going to be the next one. 
So I'm going to use Titan for that. Oh! Oh no, I think you actually have three Pokemon, don't you? Oh, four. Ooh, in that case, let me throw out a Stealth Rock. Just so I can pick up, like, their next guys coming out every single turn. Sludge Wave? Um, did that. She's Rock Tomb. If only I had, like, a Ground-type move on uh, Titan, it will be, like, super effective against Poison-types. However, I don't want to have Dig be the one that's on it. And Mud Slap is really, like, you know, like, baby-tier Ground-type move. I'd rather have a better one. Another one, keep out my current Pokemon. Oh, so that's what it looks like normally. And when it's not, like, freaking amped up. She's Hammer Arm, because I think it was also a Steel type too. So if it is, this would be super effective. I did a lot of damage, but things might knock out like what I'd like it to. And Titan's starting to show some heavy damage, but we've taken out three of his four. Three of her four, I'm just assuming it's a female, just from the eyes. Now it's gonna sound his last one. You think to give me a taste of my own poison? Five. Feed. I will fight on to my last breath. Fiend. Fiend. That was probably what they were saying. Uh, I'm gonna keep going and use Heavy Slam. Spin out. Oh, I mean, that's actually pretty good for me. Oh no, Heavy Slam is not going to be doing it. What the f*** was that? Oh, that's annoying. Um, time might not be enough to finish this. At least not without some healing. Oh, Poison Debris is what that ability is called. Switch out. Um, yeah, Psychic Attacks are helpful. Let's have Dewey come in and finish this. Hopefully. Hopefully. And, yeah, Poison Debris. Causing badly poison. Good, you're not really effective against us this time. And I'm going to use Start Aqua Step. Oh wow, I did a lot and it was SP. Noxious Trooper. Alright, well this should be the last hit we need. Aqua Step. And just like that, another Starbase is down. I love the little flex when freaking like gyrates in front of them. Forgive me, my friends. About a year and a half ago. Forgive me, it took a goodly time to procure the materials. It took a goodly time to procure the required materials. Yeah, that's right. Whoa, sick, these boots are insane. Yeah, insanely annoying. Ah, yes. The move Flame Charge was my muse for those particular pieces. This outfit is everything I imagined it would be. Thank you so much. I merely wish to create a costume worthy of the great Infernal Eerie. If it aligns with your vision, then I am content. 
Seems our outfits up seems our outfit upgrades are all wrapped up. Then, thanks to Ton Atticus. With you two looking like absolute beasts, anyone who crosses us will be sweating bullets. You're so good at these sorts of crafty things, Atticus. Those people bully you because you geek out over old fashioned stuff. Over old fashioned stuff are out of their minds. The way of the ninja is rough and fraught with many thorns. I neither expect nor desire sympathy from the unrefined rabble. Ooh, someone's getting fired up. Watch out, world. Our Atticus has fighting words. Yeah, don't listen to the haters, Atticus. I think you're really cool. Alright, gang. Let's move on to the next step. It's time to put our backs into our battling training so we're all prepped for our Operation Star. We gotta be stronger than everyone else in the team. That's what being a boss means. Indeed it does. Henceforth, I will devote myself heart and soul to honing my battle skills. Didn't do a lot of good. For the sake of the team, I would give my very heart and soul, but I cannot defy the rules. Our code must be obeyed. And so, this badge is mine to keep no more. I am trusted to thy care. And that's another one down. Take this contraption too. It contains a technique that allows one to convert the foes to cover the foes in gunk. Oh, gunk shot. I don't know why, I would assume it would be like a move they would use more often, but it's never that anymore. Tevin is thy name, is it not? I ha you have utterly bested me, but thy victory stirred no bitterness within me. Such was its brilliance. Don Atticus! But my compadre? It seems this little fella has been dying to speak with you face to face. Don Atticus, please hear what I have to say. I only need a moment. Whatever brought you all the way here? I came to help you. If you don't start going to class again, you'll be expelled from the academy, right? When the other kids at school and I were getting bullied real bad, you and the rest of Team Star saved us. Thanks to that operation you carried out, we were all able to go to school again. If you got expelled for being the good guys, that would be the worst thing ever. Forgive me. Haven't you heard anything from the big boss? Nay, we've heard not a whisper since that fateful day. Without the big boss, Team Star cannot go on. And without the team, the bright and merry student life we seek lies beyond our reach. We have no choice but defend our bases till the big boss returns to us. You've evidently trust this big boss of yours a great deal. Who exactly are they? In truth, not one of us has met them in the flesh. By their own word, they are a recluse. As with the rest of us, twit seen bullying was to blame. That's awful. Thought their name and face be unknown to us, they are nonetheless our precious comrade. Our only choice is to maintain our vigils from the bases, awaiting the day of their return. So that's why you don't go to school? But, but still, don't ever think that Team Star is all you have, Don Atticus. You've got a lifelong compadre in me, and don't you forget it. My compadre, I owe you a great debt. It seems we're one step closer to the truth behind Team Star's truancy and the bullying at the academy, but more importantly, I can't believe I have no idea about these issues the students are struggling with. They have friendships they hold dear and reasons for acting as they do, I just couldn't see it. It's shameful how oblivious I've been. Why is that, Clive? What do you have anything to gain from this? Huh. I believe Team Star to be the one and only treasure in my life. Methinks I may have been mistaken.
So with that, we only have two more bases left before Team Star is completely obliterated. Seven, it's me. Atticus's star badge is now yours, right? I see. Now that its boss has been taken down, the Navy Squad's days are numbered. Now Atticus too. Sorry, I got a lot on my mind right now. So, Operation Starfall. You've taken down all but two bases, so it's fair to say it's going well. This seems like a good time to let you know what you're ultimately aiming to achieve. Our final goal is to defeat the mastermind that first recruited the five squad bosses and created Team Star, the one they call the Big Boss. What's this person like? Who knows? They control the five squad bosses from the shadows. That's all anyone can say. If we defeat this person and get them to declare the team disbanded, that'll be it for Team Star. Since the Big Boss never set up their own base and keeps their identity hidden, I take it they're not one for the spotlight. But once all the squad bosses are out of action, the Big Boss will finally have to take the stage. Now about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. I appreciate the payment for my services. And I can make more teams now. Have your Pokemon learn strong moves so that you can continue to be of use through the operation. My supply unit reps should be with you soon. Guessing you're here now, aren't you, Penny? Hey there, Tevin. Uh, sounded like a pretty serious phone call. Yeah, I wasn't talking to you. I don't know why she's- I don't know why everyone doesn't like Maridon. Sir, okay, I was about to say, was there nothing else that's gonna happen? Oh, he tired himself out. So that mastermind you were talking about, Casapia's mentioned them to me too. Team Star's founder, the person who's caused all kinds of misery at the academy. If we don't take them down, I'll lose what I treasure most in the world. What do you mean by that? Oh, uh, no, I just... Um, that's right. You need your reward. Here, take it before I forget. Alright, well, I'll be off then. You're not letting us know the full story, are you, Penny? Oh, and Tevin? Don't lose to those guys. Alright, guys, with that... We are now at the end of today's video. So, thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Violet. And in the next episode, I think I'm going to head back to school. It's been a bit, and I feel like I can get some more interesting dialogue. So, as always guys, if you liked the video, give it a like, leave a comment. All those good things are mostly at the end of these episodes. And I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care y'all.